Hello everyone. Hope you're enjoying all the amazing enjoying all the amazing talks we have at Elastic on today. I am here to introduce our next speaker. I'm Carly. I'm one of the developer advocates here. And I've got another amazing talk from you from Neil Williams, who's one of our community volunteers. He's from Tillix AI and he's going to talk about his experiences of frugal engineering with Elastic Search. So Neil, over to you. Thanks, Carly. So um, my lightning talk today is a short case history which shows how Elastic's helped a new electricity supplier survive crazy times when um, many others failed. Over the next few minutes, I'll unpack some of the detail and then hopefully uh, we'll have some time at the end for, uh, for questions. So Champion Energy was established in Q4 of 2019, starting out with uh, relatively little capital. It's uh, a business that's regulated by the UK government. It has a license to supply electricity to businesses in, in Great Britain. In the electricity industry, commodity trading, network operations, metering, billing, collections, etc., cetera, are, are very data-centric uh, processes. So natural fit for um, Elastic and uh, Cabana. One of the challenges um, that Champion Energy has is, is dealing with incoming data from the industry. Um, it's not a huge data set, but um, the, the, there's enough complexity in here to make it a non-trivial job. Indexing the data is, is, is vitally important and, and making this, this raw data easily accessible to, to non-technical managers uh, is the, the, uh, the other side of the coin. The engineering here um, is, was challenging because of budget restrictions, but uh, additionally, we had a global energy crisis. So this um, puts much more pressure on the champion, both um, financially and operationally. Uh, it began in the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic and was caused by a variety of economic and political factors. It hit its peak uh, about a year ago after the Russian invasion of Ukraine. We're still feeling it today, but uh, I'm pleased to say that uh, some, some kind of normality is, is starting to uh, return to the market. The approach um, at Champion uh, was, was frugal engineering. and. Um, comes quite easy to, to a, a canny Scotsman. This, this approach is about achieving more with, with little resources. It's also known as, as Jogad, reverse innovation, bottom of the pyramid innovation. And, and uh, there's a couple of great business books been written on the, the topic um, these last few years. The solution um, for, for um, Elastic um, was great. Elastic's a, a uh, a great fit for frugal engine, uh, information systems engineering. The free tier allowed it um, allowed, uh, allowed us to start easily. It was great to see that there was going to be no locking. Um, the, the openness of, of uh, Elastic um, uh, manifests itself in, in the shape of the Python clients, Cabana, and, and the community. So, so these were great helps for um, accelerating um, Champion Energy. And now that the business is maturing, we're finding that um, a move from an on-premise deployment to the cloud is, um, is providing great benefits, pain-free upgrades, more robust infrastructure, and the professional support uh, goes a little bit further than, than um, what we get from the community. Um, Champions Elastic Stack is, is fairly conventional. Um, Dashboards in Cabana, data flows from, from the, um, the catalog that we showed earlier, uh, indexed in Elasticsearch. Uh, the, the ETL layer is, is with Python. We tried out um, Beats and Logstash very early, but um, quite simply, the developer knew Python, not Elastic, so it, it was a more straightforward route. In, in hindsight, um, I've, I've no regrets about um, about the Python layer, but we we may um, uh, revisit uh, Beats and Logstash in, in the future. For management at um, at Champion Energy, the um, uh, Cabana from day one has has been very very popular. 
the, the country map shown in the slides uh, sits alongside lines and bar charts, uh, metrics and gauges, heat maps, et cetera, that, that you'd expect from Caban. And it's, it's given management great insights um, into um, how the business is operating. And um, the dashboard functionality um, uh, didn't break the budget at, at, um, at Champion. So um, that, that uh, to a canny Scotsman, is, uh, is very nice. Um, we also are using Elasticsearch for um, business entity persistence. Now, this, this approach, it's raised a few eyebrows with, with some of my peers, but it, it's not completely crazy. And, and you can find uh, some good articles uh, at varying levels of uh, detail on, on the internet about this topic. For me, uh, as a programmer, the Python domain specific language uh, gives almost pain free interaction with, with Elasticsearch. And another useful hack has been um, to put uh, YAML data into text fields. So um, the, the persistence layer at Champion feel, feels, feels good and, and appropriate for the size of the business. Going forwards, we, um, uh, we, we may take a, a, another look at the scalability of this, this approach, but for, for a small scale application, it, it works absolutely great. Um, Cabana being read-only by design, uh, we, we have um, an, an issue uh, where um, quick edits um, uh, are, are needed, but um, we have an app for that, and uh, that is uh, Deja Vu from, uh, from app-based I.O. Now, this is an open source React application. It sits on top of uh, Elastic indexes and, and gives you quick and easy create, read, update, and delete capabilities. Um, it's got good filtering and sorting, so a, a really nice complement to to Cabana if um, if if there's a need to to edit data. So so in conclusion, um, Champion Energy has has, uh, has entered the market probably uh, at about half the cost for its information systems than than its peers. The management at uh, at Champion Energy are, are delighted with um, their, their Cabana dashboards and, and they're scoring very highly on user satisfaction surveys. And um, at the moment, we're, um, we're, we're navigating a lot of regulatory change and oversight from, from Ofgem and the UK government. And our, our agile approach, um, which, which is uh, built upon the Elastic Stack, um, it anecdotally um, makes us feel that we are uh, much more efficient and agile than, um, than many of our peers. So as promised, um, a quick, uh, quick case, case history of um, frugal engineering with, with elastics. So thank you for your time and uh, hopefully um, we can um, discuss some, some questions from the audience in the, in the remaining minutes. Indeed we can. We've had one come through from Gert. So thanks, Neil, for an amazing talk. Gert wants to ask, what were the what was the name of the books that you mentioned at the start on frugal innovation? Um, the books on frugal innovation, uh, I'll, I'll bring this slide back up. It's The Frugal Inno Innovator by uh, Charles uh, Leadbetter, or Leadbeater, possibly. Um, and um, Frugal Innovation by Rajo and uh, Prabhu. Oh, thank you very much. So, Gert, take a quick snapshot of that. So you've got those books for your, your reading list. And we have time maybe for one more quick question. So, Neil, I mean, what's happening next? Is there any other techniques or tools as part of your frugal engineering ethos that you want to bring into Champion Energy next? Yes, so um, I, I started using um, Elastic uh, at Champion. So uh, you know, I'm, I'm relatively novice to, to Elastic, and there's a whole ecosystem that, that I'm exploring. Starting to, to to find other use cases. You, you know, when, when you've got a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Um, this, this slide here uh, gives a quick overview of the sorts of things that, that are interesting me at, at the moment. Um, I use um, 
uh, pandas and python a lot so so eland uh, is is making a lot of promise i've got uh, another client that that's very interested in in a domain specific search application so uh, uh, enterprise search is, is looking to be a good fit for that and um fs crawler is, is a project that's supported by elastic um that um uh, is, is giving me a lot of interest amazing thanks neil we are out of time there are a couple of questions in the chat so neil will try and get to those before the next session starts but thank you very much again yes. and thanks to everyone for watching enjoy the, the rest of elastic Work.